Hi guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. You know, this last week, I was at the shop working, and all of a sudden the door opens up and in comes this guy and this girl. And he goes up to one of the guys I work with and he says, I'm looking for Richard Blaine. And so, Rob, the guy I work with, points over there to me. And the guy comes up and he says, Richard Blaine, and I turn around and go, yeah. And he goes, I'm Bo Hunter, nice to meet you. I was like, what's up, Bo? <laughs> I mean, he told me he was going to be in Vegas and that he might stop by and visit me at the shop. And guess what? He and his lovely wife stopped by and visit me at the shop. He took time out of his busy vacation schedule with he and his lovely wife to come and see me at the shop. And I showed him around the store and we shoot the shit for a while and it was fantastic. He's a top-notch guy. He's a top-notch guy and an A1 Class A YouTuber. We had a good time. He's from Mass. I'm originally from New York City. And we had a great time. He's a nice guy. And I just wanted to say on this video, before I go ahead with dinner tonight, that I really appreciate you stopping by the shop, Bo. You and your wife are lovely people. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you again. Anyway, guys, like I said, Bo's a great guy. You should check out his channel. I'm going to have a link to it in my description. I just wanted you to know that. He's a top-notch guy, and I was very surprised it made my day. Now, tonight, I'm going to make a dish from another YouTuber. Her name is Sandy over at the Easy Cooking channel, and I promised her that I would make a dish called birria, lamb stew, traditional lamb stew. This stew could be made with any kind of red meat, beef, lamb, veal, goat, even pork, even though pork is the other white meat, okay? Tonight, I'm going to make it with beef and pork because when I went shopping and saw the price of lamb, I almost fainted. So tonight, I'm going to make it with beef and pork, okay? I'm going to make it just slightly differently, but it's going to be Sandy's recipe, okay? I know you'll enjoy it. So as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes, let's get going, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, first things first. You'll need a steamer basket or a steamer pot or an evaporator whatever you have, or a triple cooker. Now into that, I'm adding the first layer of beef and pork, okay? And to that, I am adding some sliced onion, okay? okay. We're gonna do this in layers. One whole sliced onion, okay? Just wanna build layers. It's gonna get a little tight in here because my steamer is not as big as the one that Sandy used, okay? There we go. One layer onion. Now I'm going to press it down, okay? And to that, I am going to add some herbs, okay? Now, Sandy used fresh, but I don't have fresh on hand. So I'm using some dry marjoram, a total of about two tablespoons. One tablespoon per each layer, okay? There's some dried marjoram, some dried thyme, okay? About one tablespoon per layer. Okay. It'd be really, really good. There we go. And to that, I'm just going to add just a little dash of rosemary, about a teaspoon per layer. I know it's not in the recipe, but I thought it would add a nice aromatic fragrance and flavor. Okay. And to this, I'm just going to add a little bit of the garlic on this layer. It's about five cloves all together, so about two and a half cloves on this layer, and I chopped it fine because I actually want the garlic in my stew. Now, I'm going to add the second layer of meat, beef and pork. <laughs> all right, squeeze that down, okay, just get it in there. My equipment just barely made the grade on this. Just enough to hold three pounds of meat. There it is. Second layer. Okay. Now, to that second layer, a little more dried marjoram. The other tablespoon. Okay. And the other tablespoon of dried thyme. 
the dried herbs are going to make for stronger flavors, but that's okay. And the last teaspoon, a little bit of dried rosmarino. Okay? And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay? A little bit of the garlic. Okay? Okay? Some more onion on top. Okay? There we go. And this is going to steam for about 90 minutes on medium and create a truly exceptionally flavorful broth. Okay? There we go. Okay? And then the cover is going to go on top and we'll be back in 90 minutes. Okay guys, the meat's been steaming on medium for two and a half hours. It is so tender, it's ridiculous. I didn't even have to shred it. I just broke it up with a wooden spoon and got all this. Now in my case, I decided to keep the onions. Okay, In my case, I decided to keep the onions and the garlic in there. And because I'm using dry herbs, I didn't have to strain it out. But this is the meat. And now I'm going to show you what the stock looks like. Okay guys, here it is. This has got to be some of the most flavorful stock I have ever made in my life. As a matter of fact, in the future, I think I'm going to make chicken and beef stocks like this again. But look at how rich that is. It's so flavorful. This whole house smells so aromatic. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the meat cool for about 30 minutes and I'm going to move this stock aside and we're going to make our chili tomato sauce. So let's move forward. Okay, so we're getting ready to make our tomato chili sauce. And into the boiling water I have two pounds of Roma tomatoes. And to that I'm going to add four Wahio chilies. I could have added Mirasols, but I couldn't locate Mirasols. So Sandy says Wahios will work just as well. And to that I'm going to add four New Mexico chilies. Okay, because I couldn't find the Pipitilla chilies. Okay. And as everybody here in YouTube land knows, I like the heat, so according to Sandy's recipe, two chili de arbo for the spice, in go the seeds, yes, the seeds. Give this a quick push down, get that boiling water to start softening up these chilies. Okay. 10 or 15 minutes, about 15 minutes to get these chilies soft and the tomatoes soft. I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt. There we go. And 15 minutes from now, I'm going to take this mixture to the blender and we'll move on to the next step. See you in a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to take the chili tomato sauce that I've been boiling and I'm going to blend it in small batches in the blender. Now, after it's been blended, you can strain it to make sure you don't get any chili skin in the recipe, but I know how this blender works. So that's not going to happen. Now I'm going to do this a couple of times because I still have more of the sauce here. And I'm going to put it into another bowl. And then I'm going to add it to the broth that we have. So I just wanted you to see that I'm going to grind it up in small batches here in my blender. Okay guys, this is where the rubber hits the road. I'm reheating my beef stock. You can see it's starting to boil. And to that, I am adding my tomato and chili pepper stock. Okay. Now I am going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to re-add the meat to it and cook the meat in it for about 10 minutes and we're going to be good to go. I'm going to season it with one cube of beef stock and one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce according to Sandy's recipe and I can tell you right now I can tell you right now, I am just falling in love with this recipe. This is just so loaded with flavor and so loaded with aroma. I'm surprised I've never made this before. This is just fantastic. Okay, So I'm going to simmer this for about 20 minutes and I'm going to go walk Riley because it's that time of night and I'll see you guys okay, in a bit. Okay guys, the tomato pepper mixture with the beef broth and pork broth is done. I'm ready to plate this up. I'm going to spoon some meat into the bowl and this broth on top. I'm going to keep the meat 
and the sauce separate, like Sandy's family does in honor of this recipe. So I'm going to put some meat in the bowl, and I'm going to get some of this broth on top of it and top it off with some onions and lime wedges, and then it's time to eat. There you have it, guys. Traditional Mexican birria stew made with beef, pork, some rice, some lime wedges, okay? This is a delicious recipe. I'm glad I took it from Sandy, okay? I'll leave a link to her channel on my description for this, but this is going to be delicious. I'm really looking forward to eating this. I want to thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next video.